You're watching the Moto G Power disassembly. And if you want to see the Moto G Stylus disassembly, click on the iCard above or the link in the description. First, let's go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Now, once you heat the back up with either a heat gun or a hair dryer, use a plastic pry tool to gently pry the back off. Now, once your back plate is loose, make sure you don't pry the whole thing off yet because your fingerprint reader is still attached to the main board and the cable is short. So you're going to have to separate the fingerprint reader from the back plate by heating it up a little bit and pushing it in. Then you'd be able to pry it off. So here's your back plate. It's plastic. There are 14 T4 or Torx screws that need to be removed so you can remove the top and bottom cover. Now that all the screws are removed, let's go ahead and remove the top cover. So here's a better look at your top cover. You have a flex cable over here on the back, which is for your earpiece speaker. It has two contacts over here in gold, which touch the earpiece speaker. And the three contacts over here in gold on the bottom touch your main board, which give it signal. Now we need to peel off the graphite film. Now we have access to disconnecting the battery cable. Once the battery is disconnected, we could go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. We'll start off with a fingerprint reader right here. You have two wire cables in the corner, pop those off. Let's go ahead and disconnect your cameras. Now we need to peel off the copper tape over here. That's covering the connector for the front facing camera in order to be able to disconnect it. You have one T4 screw over here in the corner holding it down your main board. Once that screw is removed, you can lift up and remove your main board. Here's a better look at your main board. One of your microphones is located over here on the top. This is gold piece. Here's the back side. This is your SIM reader over here. There's some graphite film over here as well on the back. Let's go ahead and peel that off. There's copper tape over here covering your processor. Peeling that off reveals the thermal pad underneath on top of your processor. Let's go ahead and peel off the graphite film covering your speaker assembly. Now we can lift up and remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. You have two wire cables you need to pop off on your charger port board. Next, you have a cable underneath your charger port board that's attached. So lift up your charger port board gently, enough so you have some leverage to disconnect the cable underneath. And once the cable is disconnected, you could remove your charger port board. Here's a better look at that. You got a charger port over here. And you got a headphone jack right here. Now, in order to remove the battery, there are no pull tabs to remove the adhesive underneath. So you're gonna have to gently heat the battery and use a plastic pry tool to gently pry it off. Here's a better look at your battery. So 
So this flex cable over here connects your main board to your charger port board on the bottom. You have your screen cable over here. Your vibrator motor is over here. Your power button volume key flex cable is right there. And if you ever had to replace those, you would also need to pry off the screen. Your proximity sensor cable is located over here on the top. Your earpiece speaker is right here. And if you needed to change your screen, you'd have to disassemble the phone, remove the battery, so you'd have access to the cable over here. You'd have to peel this cable off from the frame, and then you'd have to heat the front up, pry the old screen off, run your cable through the slit over here, get your new screen, reapply it to the front, and just reverse the whole process. All right, now it's time to put it back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and then go ahead and put your back plate back over. Flip the phone over, power it on, and you're done. If you guys want to see the Moto G stylus disassembly, click on the info icon on the top right or the link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.